Right, we're recording now. Uh, I've got an audience with me today. Nathan, my daughter, her pal Matt. Say hello, Matt's making scrambled eggs. <laughs> and we're going climbing in a bit. But for anybody who's got one of these ion cameras, you'll be very aware that the thread is made of plastic and the sh and the rubbish. All right, and there's a way that I've sort of come up with to try and mend it, and it involves. I've got two of these cameras. I've started a repair on this one. What I've bought off the internet is heli coils, like that. If you can see that, heli coil inserts, and I've had to buy this separately to tap them in. What I've done with this one, this is a bullnose tap, but there is still a little lead in, and we haven't got much depth in here. So what I'm doing is initially tapping both of them, and then I'm going to grind that three or four mil, maybe three mil off the end of there, and get an extra, hopefully a couple of three mil back in the bottom of that, and then I can get the helicoil in all the way I've got probably enough as it is if you look at that I've probably got enough in there to take the adapt to take the uh, mount threads but if I can get a bit more I will do so we'll have a, we'll have a do at threading this one it's a bit hard to get started because I haven't got a proper tap key ironically my eldest lad is making one at college at the moment but it's not ready yet so I'll just force it in by hand like I say it is only plastic so you can do it by hand with a Possibly a pair of pliers if you get it square before you commit to it. It's not too bad. Managing to keep it fairly square in there, that's not too bad. I'm starting to get a good cut now. And I think I'm at the bottom of the thread, so as you can see, it's, it has cut it fairly nicely. So we'll take that out now. Again, probably just as carefully getting it out as I'm putting it in. So it looks like a fairly decent Fairly decent effort again with that one. Before I take the end of that tap off, I'll just offer a heli coil in. Get it in the right way. This is my homemade heli coil drive thing. starting quite nicely. So I know I've got half decent thread anyway. Right, so that'll have to I'll have to take that out with the players. What I'm gonna do now is turn it off, I'll go and grind that off and then we can do that extra few mil just for uh, peace of mind so I'll come back to you. Oh, right I'm recording again. Shh. Why? Why? Come on. <laughs> Good video but would have been better with your mic on your camera turned down. I found it difficult to watch because of camera noise. Yes but I've responded to him. Is yeah, point well made. We'll bear that in mind next time. I'm right. a bit conscious that passes by. I thought I was talking to my bike. Like right. a movie. So. My kids are criticising me. YouTube stuff. <laughs> what are you on about? Get your hair cut. <laughs> <laughs> mm, little Elvis. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we have such a good.
Yeah, you give it right. one. It's on, it's going on, it's going on. It's going on. <laughs> right. I've cut that down so it's um, basically a flat ended <laughs> tap now. And I've managed, I've done one. And if you can remember from the other one how deep it was, that's gone a lot deeper. So we'll crack on and finish this one. It should thread in fairly nicely, which it does do. And we should get <coughs> another couple of threads in there, which we have done. And that's as far as they go, because it's not that deep. It has just turned some extra threads out, so I'm happy with that. Try and just cut them off a little bit. Which it has done. Oh, and that feels nice and clean, so I'm really happy with that. And there are some bits in the bottom which are a bit of a bugger to get out. Nice nut, what's going on the internet? <laughs> Did you get it all? Oh. Did you get it all? <laughs> Is it recording? Yeah. I'm just going to run this down again before. What did you do? Like, smooth? Yeah, I'm really happy with that. That's really good. Feels good and strong. That's really good, so I'm quite happy with that. So, my homemade Allen key with a groove in it. Oh, beautiful. Oh my god, that's perfect. That's a lot further in. I don't know if you can see. Just try and break the little tab off in the bottom. I might just leave it there. Now, can you go in my camera bag in the front room and get another one of them tripods out for me, please? Because it's got a thread and I can test it. Can I leave my shoes on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I'm going to do with the bit sticking out is just with my Dremel, with the fine cutting blade in a Dremel, just trim that off. So first of all, we'll just see. Yeah, I'll take that off. Cheers, pal. Another little mini tripod, which is what I've been wanting to achieve, is get that in there. Oh, which is fantastic. I'll get that trimmed off, and that's perfect. So I'll turn it off and come back. So I'm back with my Dremel set up with a grinding end in it, a really thin one, and I'm going to try and cut that off there. It's, it'll, I'll be really lucky if I get away with not marking the camera body, but I'll live with that if I have to. As you can see, 
but not done too bad. Burnt table behind it, and that I think I'm fairly happy with. I'll do the other one just for the sake of doing it while we're on. I just watch for where the last thread comes out of there to cut it, which is about there. Sounds like it's going to pack up. So I'm, I've managed to mark the blue a little bit with that one, but it's not uh, it's not the end of the world. So proof of the pudding. Oh my god, perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Absolutely. Superb. So now I dare use these cameras on sticks and whatnot and in, in water as the waterproof. So that's it done, all I've used. Them off the internet were about seven quid. That were twelve quid. And my Dremel and my Leatherman. And a homemade thing. So if you've got one of these with a weak or a de-threaded plastic mount, you can repair them. Try.